Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to resolve the Intel PPM.SYS blue screen error you are coming across on your computer. And it will be tied to the not less or equal error that we have covered before on this channel. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of quick methods on how to hopefully go about resolving this issue. And we're going to go and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you're going to type in SFC, followed by a space, and then forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. So again, SFC, space, forward slash, scan now. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin running the scan. We'll take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay guys, so once that first command is done, we're going to go run the second command, and the second and third command are a little bit longer, so I'm going to have all three in the description of the video, but I think the second and the third one should be copied, and then paste each one one at a time into the command prompt, so we're going to run the one, let it scan, and then we're going to run the next one. So we just copy the first one, remember it's a DISM command, go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, select edit, and then paste, hit enter.
Okay, so once that one is done, we're going to run the second DISM command. So just copy that again from my description. This one ends with restore health. First one ended with scan health. So this one's restore health. We're going to copy that and paste it in. And then hit enter. Okay, so this scan finished successfully as well with just closing out of here and restarting your computer and then hopefully your issue has been resolved at this point. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.